Well, a Milwaukee boy charged with killing his mother when he was just 10 years old is now heading to trial as an adult. Police say he admitted to shooting the woman after she refused to buy him a virtual reality headset. Wisconsin law allows a child even this young to face adult charges for murder. New tonight, Sean Gallagher explains how the next fight in this case could send it back to juvenile court. For the kids who go through the Juvenile Justice Center on Watertown Plank Road, they get a number of benefits they wouldn't otherwise have if they committed those crimes just a few years later. But for the boy who was under this roof Tuesday, he may not get any of those opportunities if he's tried as an adult for killing his mother. He's a boy who should be starting school, practicing his ABCs and coloring inside the lines. Instead, he was in a courtroom today, facing the possibility of prison for the rest of his life. TMJ4 News is not naming the boy in accordance with the judge's ruling to keep his identity private. And nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, I do. Milwaukee Police Detective Timothy Keller replayed what happened last November and how he may have slipped up, believing the boy's first explanation of what happened, that the gun accidentally went off while he was playing with it. I wanted to believe that something like that were the truth and that it wouldn't come to this. Ultimately, the boy will go to trial. He's currently charged as an adult, but that could change. The stakes are very large. We're dealing with a 10-year-old boy here. Jonathan Lavoie is a defense attorney with no affiliation to this case. He explained how the next step is going through a reverse waiver process, essentially an attempt to have the case sent through the juvenile court system instead of the adult system. So the judge has to listen to additional testimony now about whether the system can adequately deal with this child's needs and whether the, 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 the adult court system is the right place for this child. Lavoie says on the juvenile side, there are resources for the boy and his family, counselors, social workers, wraparound services to try and rehabilitate this child. The alternative? The adult court system is much more of just a warehouse. It's very likely the juvenile court system is going to provide a lot more benefit to this child and ultimately to the community. To have the reverse waiver accepted, the boys defense team will have to prove three things. That the adult system doesn't have adequate treatment options for the boy. That a move to the children's court won't depreciate the seriousness of the crimes levied against him. And that keeping him in the adult court isn't necessary to deter other kids from committing the same crime. We'll find out what the court will decide in the next few weeks when the boy is back in court on October 6th. Reporting in Wauwatosa, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.